exploring. Like you said, the Wingy It set got a spooky update over the weekend. Our friends from Michael's Craft Store decked out it just in time for the show this morning and just in time for Halloween. And now they're here to tell us what they did and also get us ready with a fun Halloween craft that everyone can participate in. We're, of course, joined by Tracy Georgina and Ryan Morley. Now, first off, before we get to the craft, we have to talk about the set. So yeah. what did you do, Tracy? What was your idea behind designing this? Well, the whole process starts with talking to our guests and finding out what they want, what kind of space they have to use and everything like that. Finding out what kind of feel they want to have. Do you want to go spooky? Do you want to go fall? What kind of colors you want to work with? And from there, it's just looking around, pulling pieces together. And it takes sometimes one, two steps. We started, you know, Friday, got a feel for it and came and saw, put it together and came back and tweaked a little bit today. And everything so. we're seeing was created with something with only things found at Michael's, right? Correct, yes. This is all um, handmade by our floral designer, Ryan Morley. Yeah, let's talk about these arrangements because you wouldn't think of flower arrangements being spooky or creepy and you made all of these by hand. Yeah, I did. Um, we, I make the bows handmade and then we take the styrofoam pumpkins and we just glue um, picks and bushes into them. Now, you had a lot of time to do this, but a lot of people out there don't have a lot of time. Can yeah. you just buy these straight up the way they're made? Definitely, yeah. We'll price them, and then you just buy them. They're always um, a percentage off, too. All right. Well, we're going to make a craft that everyone has time to do. We have two different crafts. We're going to try to power through them. The first is for people that are making Halloween gift bags, like the ones that you saw with Lauren and I's name yep. on them, something for parents to make. What, how do we do this? Exactly. Party little favor. Quick, easy, which we love, because um, obviously when we're prepping, we don't have much time, as it always is. Uh, a rush to the holiday. So really quick, fill it with your favorite, favorite candy. candy. Hershey's are a great yes, choice. Yes, chocolate for sure. Folding it over and then you have the sheet that's pre-cut. Um, this is cut to like four by six. All our instructions are step by step on michaels.com. Take a little Throwing glue. Throw some glue on. Okay. And the other side, we'll get both sides. <laughs> <laughs> Not the best crafter. It's all good. All right. Great thing about crafting, and then just pressing the paper on. These were full sheets of 12 by 12 scrapbook paper, so and you can pick out your favorite designs, cut them down. That have, people that are into crafting probably have a lot of scrapbook paper <laughs> exactly. sitting around. Exactly. Yep. Okay. Um, and then it's just hole punching it. Two quick holes. Um, at the top. And this is something great you can throw in your kid's lunchbox on Halloween yes. since it does fall on a school day. And my personal favorite thing about this party favor is the temptation. It, this is going to be sealed now so you can't so you sneak can't the candy out. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so what's the final step after we uh, tie this ribbon on? Picking so out your the favorite one. stickers from our scrapbooking section uh, to throw a little more holiday cheer onto it and then if you want to uh, embellish it even more with your guest's name. Okay, perfect. Well, I want to get a shot of the ones that are sitting by with Lauren and I's name on them so we can show the final product as we move on to the next craft. And this is something perfect for Halloween night um, and that is a glow-in-the-dark trick-or-treat bag. Yes. One, it's great because it's going to help people see your kids and also it's a reinforced bag so all of the candy won't be lost on the exactly. street. Exactly. So how do we make this? What are the uh, steps? Super easy. Pick out your favorite duct tape. We are going with the glow-in-the-dark because because of uh, the night and the safety reasons. And you're just literally cutting strips. You're putting it across, cutting it off until the whole bag is covered, and then cutting out your favorite design, which is really cool. We have these um, nice fancy sheets of duct tape at Michael's now. Now, are, is that something that's new? Because I, I remember when people would start crafting with duct tape, you'd have to kind of make your own duct tape sheets. It is fairly newer, as they saw that duct tape was the hot way to design costumes and wallets and purses and everything. They did come out with this line. So, so. then you just take these and peel and just stick. peeling sticking. Now, how long do the full bags take? Because because you did, you know, we just covered the front front one of this this morning, but you have the whole bag reinforced. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd take, I would say about 20 minutes to a half hour, depending on the age of the kid and you know what their skill level is and everything. So now, is this uh, glow in the dark something that you would have to charge with the light before you went outside? Yes, definitely. So that's yep. a great step. Let it sit in light. And for more information on either this craft or that craft that we just did, the little gift bags, are those all posted, the things you're going to need? Because we did kind of rapid fire them. So yes. for someone that wants to take yes. more than two and a half minutes to do two crafts, where can they find that information? Michaels.com. There's a link on there that says project ideas. Click on that, and it's awesome now. We update it, and you can load your shopping cart with the supplies that you need for the project. Print it right out. Go to the store and get everything you need. It's and great. And as always, if you do any of the crafts we're talking about, please post them to our Facebook because I'm sure your finished product will look better than my bag that really just <laughs> has two eyes. Thank you both for coming Thank in this you. morning and Friday to redo our set. It looks great and also teaching us this great craft. But right now we're going to send it over, switch gears a little bit, and uh, 
go to the kitchen. I have the, the 